Hello everyone, my name is Philip Wacker and I'll tell you about our evaluation of menu techniques for a handheld AR system with a smartphone and a mid-air pen. Extending handheld AR with a mid-air pen offers exciting new opportunities for applications in which 3D input is necessary. We've previously looked at techniques to interact with objects in the scene and saw that ray casting method either by touching the screen or by shooting a ray through the tip of the pen achieve best results. But system control tasks such as menus represent a different area of interaction. Um, compared to interaction with an object, a menu does not have to be linked to a mid-air location, um, but can be placed at different positions. Specifically, we looked at context menus that open after an object has been selected. We defined five combinations of interaction method and menu positions and implemented them for the ARPEN system developed at our chair. The first interaction method is through touch on the screen. The user taps on an object and the menu opens around the object. Tapping on an item then selects it. We call this condition two-handed touch. But the menu can also open on the screen itself and not be tied to a mid-air location. So for the one-handed touch condition, the menu opens to the side of the touch screen and the user can select an item with the hand holding the device. The next inter interaction method is with the mid-air pen. The interaction now takes place by ray casting through the tip of the pen. And the interaction, again, can happen in mid-air, but it can also uh, take place on a surface in the scene. Previous studies have shown the benefit of interacting on a haptic surface. So for the surface condition, the menu is shown at a fixed location in front of the user and tapping on an object on the surface, then select the item. While the mid-air menu can be placed anywhere, placing the menu on the surface detaches the menu from the object it was opened for. Lastly, for the device pointer, the movement of the device can also be used to interact with the menu. To highlight an item, the user can move a cursor by tilting and moving the device, and then pressing a button on the pen selects the highlighted item. We evaluated these five menu techniques with 15 participants and measured the success rate, interaction time, movement, and subjective ratings, as well as a ranking of all the techniques. And the participants liked the two-handed interaction on the touchscreen the most, followed by the one-handed touchscreen interaction and the mid-air interaction with a pen. While all techniques achieved high selection precision, the surface menu seemed to be less precise com compared to the others. And one potential reason is that it's the only technique that required a movement to a correct 3D position, while the other techniques use ray casting or direct touch. And as expected, using the surface technique also took longer and required more movement of the device. We thought that the haptic feedback could alleviate some of these drawbacks, but our participants placed this technique mostly on the last place when ranking all the techniques, so suggesting that that was not the case. But that does not mean that this technique should never be used at all. All techniques achieved high success rates, so none should be immediately discarded. And our results prov provide a starting point for interaction designers to pick a menu technique for their application. So if you want to test that out, the menu techniques and also other interaction techniques, you can download the iOS app of the AR pen, and you only have to print out the marker to be able to interact in midair. And the project is also available on GitHub, so you can develop your own interaction techniques. So with that, thank you all for your attention, and please contact me if you have any questions.